Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss beans in Tableau and their use cases. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is beans? Beans is systematic distribution of the data or you can say bin is used to divide the data into equal containers or chunks. We can create bins only for major and bin is represented by this symbol in the data source. Okay. So let's see how we can create and use the bins in the tableau. So for this tutorial, I'm using sample superstore data set. I will provide the link in the description box to download this data set. As we already discussed, we can create bins only for major. So let's create bins. So right click on any field and go to create, go to bins. So when you click on bins, a pop-up will come and here you can create a bins. So first field is here is field name. Okay. Here you can mention the field name of the bin. So I'm using bin. This is the size of bin. Size of bin. This is suggested by Tableau. Okay. I am using here is 1000 you can use the size of bin according to your requirement okay so this is the range of value this is the minimum values of the data this is the maximum value of the data this is the difference between these and this is the total number of distinct rows present in the data okay so let's click on okay so as you can see a bin is created in our data so let's drag this field to see how a bin look like so as you can see, a bin is created with 1000 gap as you can see uh, minus 7k, minus 6k, 5k, 4k and so on. Okay. Sometimes you will not able to uh, find some of this value from here because, because uh, these field doesn't have any data. So what you can do is you can right click on it and show missing value. Okay. This is how you can create the bins okay so we can create histogram by using this bins as well so let's create histogram histogram using bins okay let's drag this bins and convert it into continuous let's drag our profit Let's rotate our bars. Okay. To get a better view, let's convert into count. So as you can see, a histogram is created by using this bins. Okay. We can create histogram by using here as well. You can go and click on histogram. Okay. Now let's create histogram using Redefined charts. Okay. So go to show me when you hover on histogram, you will see for this we need at least one one measure. And when we drag measure and create histogram, it will automatically create a beans for it. Okay, let's see how we can create histogram. So you can drag sales, okay, and go to histogram and click on it. As you can see, a histogram is created by using the sales okay so now let's see what is the use case of beans so the best use case of beans is find total number of orders for specific range of data to understand this use case in into details let's create a chart and understand this so let's create histogram for quantity for this let's track quantity and create histogram so you can say you can see histogram is created. Let's show its label. From this chart, we can easily analyze around 4875 order contains two items and 2481 orders contains four items and 1202 items contain five items. Okay. So let's go into more depth and drag category 
into the color so you can see from 875 data is wanted into three categories that is furniture office supplies and technology okay let's go into more depth and convert this value into percentage okay let's drag quantity into label let's apply quick table calculation and percent of total and then go to compute using and sell so why we use sell because we want the percent of total only for one specific cell okay so from this chart we can easily analyze from the total orders 21% is coming from furniture and around 60% is coming from office supplies and 18.56% is coming from technology which orders contain two items okay and if we go here and around 60% orders contains four item and 21.48% contains four items and 18.42% contains four items okay and same for others as well this is how you can use bins and add in your dashboard to make it more insightful thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos